Hi Capricorns, Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading and today we have another phenomenal reading. We do Capricorn, we hope you guys are well. And yeah, Capricorn, we have beauty and the veil here. Somebody is lifting the veil in this reading, they are. And uh, they're also taking off their mask. Yeah, over here, this woman's uh, removing her mask. She's looking in the mirror, right? Uh, and taking the mask off, uh, somebody is kind of like being honest, uh, either with themselves. I think, I feel like they're being honest with themselves, but maybe it's being honest in general, or maybe just being honest across the board. I say it, what I mean by that is if they are lifting the veil here and we have beauty, they, you or them, one of you guys, right? But, uh, and you know, that's how the reading can be, you know, switch. But if, one of you is lifting uh, the veil, uh, Capricorn. I feel like it's this person. That's how I feel. But lifting the veil here and uh, the mask is coming off. Somebody's being either really honest with themselves or honest uh, about, uh, honest with others. And so it could be both because I feel like it is in this reading. But let's see what else we have. So yeah, before we begin though, Capricorn, if you would like your own psychic reading, you may always get one. They're lots of fun. And uh, we do them on the phone, and then we do a tarot reading at the end. We do, so you have two different insights. And uh, yeah, you, can, you may have a tarot reading if you would like one of those as well. And sure can. And if you want a free five-minute psychic reading with Mystic Sense, that link is below. My readings are uh, far more than uh, five minutes, right? Yeah, you could be saying, I hope so, right? So let's see what we have. And I'm going to be going live uh, Sunday night at 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific time. And if you want to sign up, uh, for a reading during the live, then, uh, the I'll send the link will be right on my community post. All right. And that will be posted tomorrow, which is, you know, okay. So let's see, what we got Capricorn. Uh, we also have, we have luck is on your side, new moon in Sagittarius. Yeah. There, we don't really have a new moon in Sagittarius, but that's the energy here. Uh, and so this is lucky, right? So Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter, the planet of luck, right? That's why we have the wheel of fortune. We do. And um, no wonder I used to like that, right? I used to like to spin the wheel when I went to the little, uh, when I went to the church festivals when I was a kid, right? <laughs> You'd be saying. All right. So let's see what else we have. And we have a win-win outcome, Capricorn, because we have the full moon in Libra. You know, Libra is about harmony and balance. Libras like harmony. Yeah, they do. They, you know, they, they don't like to fight. They like to kind of, you know, they make good mediators. They can counselors, things like that. Uh, mm -hmm. And so a win-win outcome is forecast. This means that you both are going to have what you want. Doesn't it mean that? I feel like it does. And so let's see what else we have Capricorn. All right. And we have the high priestess of earth, Capricorn. That may be you, right? This lady always cracks me up. But this is about somebody who is kind of basically trusting their intuition. They could be kind of an earthy type. It could be about, sometimes this can be about the way they believe, right? Maybe they have changed their belief system, something. It might be, uh, it is about uh, things that are stable though. Yeah, it is. Somebody wants stability with you. I feel like they do. And then we have... The end of a tough cycle approaches. This is a Capricorn, the full moon in Capricorn. Yeah, okay, it's good, right? And uh, Capricorns are, they are Capricorn. You guys are kind of tough. Uh, so that's good, right? Like resilient, and yeah, pretty much. Uh, and so, you know, we have the end of a, a tough cycle. Now we have a new cycle coming, a full moon in Libra energy. Uh, and this is going to be lucky for you guys. We see a win-win approach a win-win outcome is forecast and you're lucky Capricorn. All right. So yeah. And, uh, don't forget to open up your cracker, cracker jacks, right? Just kidding. Right. <laughs> you guys know what cracker jacks are, right? I used to like that, right? I used to have a, is a, what is it? Caramel corn with peanuts in it. And, uh, there's a prize, right? But these days, who knows? There's probably not even a prize in there, right? It's not, back, back in the day, there was always a prize in the cereal box. Yeah, there was. And then they changed it to box tops and uh, it's like, okay, get over it. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. So, you know, it's not as, it's not as sweet as it used to be Capricorn. I'm sorry about that. Right. 
<laughs> so let's see what we got, you guys. And uh, uh, we also have willpower. So this person has the willpower. This is uh, this has the makings of a successful relationship or a su successful reunion. That part's not really clear which one. Uh, mm -hmm. This girl, this lady sees the beauty in something, the beauty in herself, or she sees the beauty in you, or possibly uh, the beauty of this, the beauty in taking off that mask. So the beauty in being honest uh, and authentic. And, you know, we're totally in that time, uh, astrologically speaking, uh, with, you know, the new moon in Aquarius and also uh, Pluto in Aquarius for 20 years. OMG, right? Yeah. And I posted a video a couple of days ago. If you guys want to go check that out, I'll pin it in the comments on my astrology channel uh, with all the 12 signs and how it is affecting you guys. And it does res it, it just it does resonate. Yeah, it really does because uh, everybody I spoke to and you know they're going through the same thing I was talking about, right? Okay, so let's see. We have two. We have the head, right? Okay, we need a good head on your shoulders, Capricorn, which you guys do, right? But this is really about somebody who things are coming to a head here. Yeah, that's really what that is about in this reading. It could have been a headache for somebody to finally remove a mask because. She's removing the mask, and uh, I feel like it was kind of a pain for somebody to really understand themselves or maybe be honest completely. There's some kind of growth going on here where somebody has, uh, you know, taken the mask off and lifted the veil. Yeah, and they could be coming to lift the veil, Capricorn, right? Yeah, they definitely could be, could like, share, share things with you. Uh, revelations and some type of truth. Let's see what we have, Capricorn, and we're going to use this deck today. And uh, Six of Cups. And I have, did I flip the cards? No, I didn't. No, that's just in the reverse. All right, Six of Cups reversed. Mm hmm. See what else we have for Capricorn, please. Show me the energy for Capricorn. Let's see what we have. Or Capricorn. For Capricorn. Yeah, somebody here, Capricorn, is bringing you this Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, this is a win-win. This is somebody's coming to like either make amends with you. I feel like they probably feel like they had to take off their mask and be be real or be genuine. Maybe they have been a liar in the past. That could be. I mean, you know, the worst kind of lying, of course, is self-deception, but it goes on. It's common, right? Of course it is. Uh, so is the other one. <laughs> uh, you know, this, but... Uh, in this reading, somebody like ends a cycle where they were not being, your person ends a cycle where they were being fake or they went through something hard. And it may be both. This person could have been wearing a veil unto themselves, wearing a, a self mask, like not admitting or not seeing, not understanding who they really were or what they really wanted. So that cycle's over. The mask comes off and the veil is lifted. Whoa, that's big time. After the end of the uh, after the end of this tough cycle, whatever that is, I feel like it's just kind of what I was talking about here for sure. But you know, once the veil is lifted and the truth, somebody's just standing and they're being honest with themselves about their life. And now we have a win-win coming and a lucky one here. And now this person has willpower. Yeah, willpower is the uh, most important thing. Yeah, it is. Willpower is just, my will is strong enough. I'm doing this. Mm-hmm. All right, so yeah, you have a win-win coming. Let's see what else we have, Capricorn. The Page of Wants, it's in the challenge here. 
over the six of swords. Look at that. So this is like right here. This is this new direction or new path or renewal sits in the challenge. So somebody, your person ends a tough situation and this renewal is something they want. That's why it sits in the challenge kind of. This is what I really want. I have to lift the veil first. I have to stop lying to myself about something. And I have to go tell Capricorn the truth. That's kind of how it looks here. So this sits in the challenge. Six of cups reverse. Somebody could want to return to you from the past, Capricorn. You could be saying, I don't want that person. Maybe. Not sure. This could be somebody from your childhood, though. It could. Who went through something difficult. This could be somebody who is a friend. Could be. Let's get a card on the Six of Cups. And we have the Strength card with it. So we have Willpower and we have the Strength card here. This person has courage. Definitely. But in this reading, when this person was wearing a mask and lying to themselves about who they really were or who were what they wanted in their life about really what the, what the meaning of life is when they were there, they didn't have courage. That's right. No, when they were before, like with their mess self mask on, no, you don't ever have courage when you're wearing a mask, right? Yep. Even the, 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 uh, what do you call them? Uh, the masked bandit, right? He doesn't have a lot of courage. I mean, he's going in there to get the money or whatever, but that's why he has a ban uh, uh, a mask on, right? He's afraid he's going to be seen, right? This person could have been afraid that afraid to see themselves. God, that is... Uh, okay, let's see what else we have here. So a lot of people kid themselves, right? Especially if they're in another relationship or something like that, or or they stay at a job that they <clears throat> despise, They you know, so they can tell themselves, right? It's kind of like, you know, they're using their own perspective. I'll just stay here. It's not that bad. And, and you know, and then every day they're sitting at work. They're like, God, I got to get out of here. Right. But sometimes people will stay because <clears throat> they don't want to be truthful with themselves about what they really want. And then once they are really truthful, they have courage. I just got kind of off the phone with somebody who's same, same type of thing. So once you are uh, authentic with yourself, that's when the courage comes. That's when it just comes rising out of you. The moon card sits in the root here, Capricorn. This is about uh, emotional up and ups and downs and hard to deal with your feelings and uh, not feeling grounded, confusion, doubts, fears. This shows up in the root. This person has courage here. They have the courage to come. But they might have not, they might think you might not want them with the sitting in the root next to the page of wands in the challenge. This is a whole new direction. They might think you don't, they, you don't want them. It's possible here. Five of pentacles. Wow. It's possible they think you're going to leave them out. It's also possible that this person is like living in lack, living like without joy or happiness or possibly in another relationship. And, you know, the tough cycle ends here. <clears throat> Maybe you left them out in the past and that's why they don't know here if things are, they still have the courage to come though. They could have lied to you and you left them out or they left you out. Because, you know, we see the veil and this beauty card where the mask is lifted, where she's taken off the mask. I mean, somebody lied here, either to themselves or to you or <clears throat> both. It looks like both to me in this reading. And that's why there was so much confusion too. But the courage is here and the willpower is here. But there's like this unknowing here. I don't know here. <clears throat> I don't know what's going to happen here. But I want this renewal or this new direction. Let's get one more card for, why is that five there? 
Now we have the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, that's you, but it's a nurturing energy here. This person, maybe they're another earth sign, but it looks like they think you're not going to, maybe you won't nurture them. Or, you know, you won't, you don't really want to like give to this possibly. And you may have been a secret. Five of Pentacles, the moon here. And that could be why we have taking off the mask and the veil, lifting the veil. You might have been a secret. It looks at this reading like somebody didn't know what they wanted in the past. And now they are lifting the veil. <clears throat> and maybe they had you as, as a secret, Capricorn. Let's see what else we have for Capricorn. The Hermit's reversed here. Maybe there's a Virgo. Could be. We have the Queen of Pentacles here. That may not be you, but right. Or you guys are both Earth signs, possibly. This talks about challenges and fighting. Yeah, it does. That five of wands there. And uh, mm -hmm. can talk about both. Can uh, honestly, that can talk about fighting and challenges. <clears throat> Okay, let's see what else we have, you guys. Let's get a card. We have the Hermit reversed there. Let's see what else we have. Some of them are fighting and some of them are having a good time here. This is a Five of Wands. There's too many people in the past here, like a third party, some type, or conflicting passions, kind of. Now we have the Four of Cups. Yeah, there's a rejection here. Somebody was bored here. That's what's going on in this reading. I feel like this person rejected you, though, <clears throat> possibly, Capricorn, or you did them. <clears throat> it looks like they rejected you, and now they, they're kind of being honest with what they really want. And this person wants uh, something harmonious, the full moon in Libra. This is like, I'm coming, and we're going we're gonna to balance the scales together. King of Swords. Ace of Swords with it. This is a decision about a new beginning. We have a new beginning here in the environment. A stable offer. There's a sad ending right here. Five of Cups. But there's regret in this reading for sure. Because when you take off the vet, the mask and you lift the veil, darn, darn so, right? Let's see what else we have. Two of Pentacles. <clears throat> this person too Capricorn could be wondering here it's possible they're wondering here if <clears throat> if you have too much regret like if or you know or you grieved too much over this in the past possibly you may be also in this energy wondering if they have ended something right here three of wands reversed yeah this is like turning your back on something or there's something here that is like no longer, uh, no longer like available or wanted for the future. Right here, three of wands reversed. <clears throat> the, and in the concern is a transition and a change. And we have judgment. And it's showing up reversed. We have to cover these naked people. Let's see what we got. Showing up reverse. We know this is rebirth. This is a huge change here. This is in some type of ending here. A transition. Here's a decision to like end something in the concern. This person thinks that when they, when they're done with whatever cycle, this end of a tough cycle approaches, they may be feeling here that this transition won't even be worth it. Like when they get to the over here, Capricorn, you're not going to be available or. <clears throat> I also feel like what this is here is that this person knows they made, they had poor judgment in the past. Judgment's reversed. Yeah. This person feels like they had poor judgment. Well, yeah. Uh, taking off the mask, your own, and then lifting the veil. Here's the veil card. And this bothered this person because we have the head first. What's like a headache? 
This person is, is at the point though here, at the point to lift the veil to you, reveal something. They want change. This person is not using poor judgment anymore, Capricorn. Judgment reversed in the concern and the Six of Swords. This is change. Nine of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. This is worry. Are, are, you, are you worried about this, Capricorn? This person's worried. Pretty sure. Or both. Excuse me, you guys. Okay. So there's lots of worry here, headaches. We have the card, the headache. The Queen of Cups is here. Mm-hmm. Let's look at her. And we have the Ace of Wands. So we have three aces in the reading. It's in the environment, it's over here, and it's over here. It's definitely wanted here. You definitely want a passionate new opportunity with this person. Yeah, this person's coming from some type of, <clears throat> I don't know, lying to themselves, possibly lying to you. They could be coming from another situation. But there, th in this reading is, it is, is an acknowledgement that I had poor judgment. That doesn't appeal to me anymore, whatever they were doing, maybe lying. That's not what I want. I want, like, I want to live with harmony, a win-win outcome. I want this, I want more balance in my life. And somebody learned here, this sits in the past, the hermit reversed, they learned some lessons here. Difficult spiritual lessons. Yeah, like karmic lessons. The hermit reversed. I feel like this person too, Capricorn, has found their answers because that's what the hermit is seeking answers. They have, it's, it's in the reverse. Now we have the hierophant and the two of cups reversed. This is some type of, I don't believe, yeah, this person doesn't believe in some other situation, whatever that, or, or their old, the old way of thinking. Because he's here looking into the book, like, I really believe in this, like, this is the truth, this is wisdom, and because he's supposed to be a teacher, here it is in the reverse. This could be a marriage upside down, too, but especially with the Two of Cups reversed. This is definitely either a breakup for your person or I don't, or maybe you, whoever's really kind of doing all this stuff, lifting the veil and all that. But right here is somebody who doesn't believe anymore, most likely in a marriage here. Or they don't have the same belief systems. They don't, and they don't have the same type of integrity. Like they, I feel like they probably didn't have enough in the past. It could have been like, for some, it's just for, with themselves, like lying to themselves saying my life's okay or the way I do go about my life is fine, but it's not. Yeah. This is in your favor, Capricorn. Whatever this hierophant reverses in the two of cups, like I said, could be another relationship ending. Definitely. Yeah. And that's really what this really more, this is what this most likely is. But if it's not a relationship ending, for your person or whoever's doing this, you know, whoever is kind of upfront in this reading, you or them, it's somebody who doesn't no longer believes in something. And that simply could be a relationship here. But I feel like th whoever this is has changed. That's my point. There we go. So yeah, and uh, that's a good thing because uh, nobody needs mask and a veil. No, they don't, right? I don't, right? No. Thank you so much, you guys. I'm gonna end the reading. Go check out my new uh, astrology reading, you guys. I'm pinning it in the comments. Thank you so much and uh, for watching. I really appreciate you guys. And yeah, I'm going to be going live Sunday night at 6 p.m. Pacific time. And I'll have the post. And if you want to get a discount, you want a reading, then, you know, uh, you know, click on the link that I have uh, 
put there in the community post. Thank you so much. And I'll put that up tomorrow. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, Capricorn.